Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card first and I just chopped out the corners and then I decided to do this one and I cut the corners that way to give it that shape. I don't know what shape it is. So I'm going to make this one again and I'll show you how I done well not how I done the corners on here I've come up with a new way of doing it or a different way of doing it right to do this I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and burnished which I've already done a piece of flirty flamingo at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters I believe yep yeah. scrap of white for the sentiment and a one and a half inch square now this one and a half inch square we're going to cut from corner to corner and need one and we're going to use this to make our corners here. In fact, it's got to be... I think I've done this too big. I was right, it was an inch. Let me just go and get the inch one I cut. couldn't find it. I cut it, I threw it in the bag of black scraps. Right now this is an inch square and if we cut this corner to corner that should be this, it is. So there's our, um, so you need an inch square So let's do our corners first, get that out of the way. So we want to get each card piece. What we're going to do is place this black piece in each corner, holding it tight and use it as a guide and cut the corners off. You need to do this on all Four corners. And once this is done with the white, we will go on and do Flirty Flamingo. So that's the whites done. Put the scissors down, I can place it better. I know this is a bit of a faff but you can always measure it out each piece go in an inch and down an inch that's what I did with the first card I did on all three layers 
And then I th was thinking about it and I thought, oh, we could just do this. So this is the first time I've done it this way. So you'll see the same time as me if it works. Right, and now we're going to layer that in there. And believe it or not, it works. Sort of. Right, this one here needs a little bit of a trim. That's better. And then we do the same with the card base. harder with the card base, you've got two layers of card. Always get one corner you can't do, don't you? Right, take our colour piece and that will go on there. That's really nice. And then that there. Got a bigger gap. On that piece, but it doesn't matter. What I'll do is just trim that off a little bit. Right, I'm happy with that. So we'll get rid of all these triangle. Don't need them. Don't need that. Right, stamp sets I'm going to use. I'm going to be using Peaceful Moments for the thank you. Forever Blossoms for the flowers, the leaf and the flower. Single flower. Happy birthday just for the dots and this stamp of mine which is the brick wall which I got from Peterborough uh, last October so let's get it out going to get a piece of scrap paper because I'm going to use crumb cake but this crumb cake is quite dark so I'm going to stamp it off and then 
stamp on my card. And that gives us that little background. Let's right, clean this up. Quite a big stamp this. I think I paid five pound for it. It actually came in this little folder. Right. Finish with crumb cake. I never got to flip for me though. Right. With flirty flamingo. And our little tiny dots out of the happy birthday to you stamp set. I am just going to stamp some dots all over this. There is dots on it in crumb cake. I want a bit of flirty flamingo in the background. That's all I'm doing. Just like I don't suppose you can see it. So that is that. Right. Now put that to one side with that and with a scrap of white. We are going to be stamping the flower and I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black. And stamp that down. Like that. Clean off the stamp and then we want three of these leaves like that. one of these flowers like that and some more cleaned let them dry and then with my versifying and my scrap of white I am going to stamp thank you and I'm going to stamp it down. Uh, so what a gap for the flower, I'm going to stamp it in the middle here. Like that. Stamp cleaned. Right, put that up to one side. Um, I have already cut all these out as I've got them all here and I've stuck dimensionals where I've needed to. I think I might have to add one or two, but I have. 
cut them all out and everything but I will colour these in and I'll use them again at, in another card so with Flirty Flamingo I've just coloured the flowers in as you would normally do This is light flirty flamingo. this little one on its own right then not put that away so I need it again Right, with the dark flirty flamingo, I coloured in the buds. And then I went in the centre of each of the flowers with the flirty flamingo. Try not to make it a right circle because they're not circles, are they? And then I just with the light just went round the edges to just to blend that circle in a bit or non-circle And then with um, Old Olive, I did the leaves. Once you colour the leaves and it changes the look of the flower. I'm not going to colour all three leaves in. I'll just do one. Right, also did the bits around the uh, buds 
and then with light soft suede I just trace down the stalks And that's how I coloured all that in. Just quick and easy, quite simple. Put all them away. Keep my workspace tidy. So, and then I cut them out with the dies, which I have here. And that's what I've got. That one. I've actually got two flowers and three leaves. You might be thinking, why do you want three leaves? Well, one for the flower that's going to go on the sentiment and then the other two I actually stuck another one there and another one under that branch, a flower. I don't need that leaf flower. Just to fill it out a bit. So that's what I've done. So we can now stick, I will use them in another card, make another card I will. Right, let's, right that's going to go there, so I'll cut thank you there. Got scissors upside down and I'm going to cut. Along there. Right, I need to cut some of that off. Don't need all that. And that's what it's going to look like when it's finished, hopefully. So we need dimensionals. On here, yeah. So let's stick all this together. stick this on the card base sorry if you hear him snoring take all the backs off these I have put dimensionals on the back of these uh, flowers some scraps of dimensionals are used from the ones I use I had a pack that's finished now 
because I used all the scraps. Right, I'm going to stick this that way. And then these loose leaves, I just glued them on and they just sat underneath. flower. Right, I stick this. There's no dimensionals on the bottom here so I can stick this on the bottom. And then this flower Right, I've got dimensionals on the leaf, so they're going to go there, and the flower's going to go on top. Then I like there. It's better. And there we have it. No, we haven't. We need some gems on it. So, how many did I put on this one? Two, four, five, right. When I did it this, like this the last time, I lost my dots. <laughs> I couldn't see them. But there again, I never had this bright light when I was making my card, the card. There we are. I think that's turned out quite a pretty stamp. A uh, pretty card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, You'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.